Does excess fat makes your thing smaller? No, that's just a myth. But what does it do to your body? Let's talk about it. Obesity, a word that often gets thrown around casually, but behind it lies one of the most powerful forces reshaping human health today. Many people think of obesity as just extra weight, but the truth is, it's not just about appearances. Obesity silently transforms almost every organ in your body, often without you even realizing it. So what happens first, in those early months of gaining significant weight? The body has to find a place to put all that extra energy, and it does that by expanding fat cells. Think of fat cells like balloons, stretching larger and larger to store energy you don't use. At first, this seems harmless, but those balloons can't expand forever. Once they're full, the body creates new ones, and that's when the real changes begin. Carrying excess weight forces your joints to work overtime. Your knees, for example, feel up to four times your body weight with every step. That means an extra 20 pounds is like adding nearly 80 pounds of pressure on your knees each time you walk. Over time, this leads to joint pain and early cartilage wear. Meanwhile, your heart is working harder too. Imagine a pump that has to push water through longer, thicker hoses. That's what your heart faces with excess fat tissue. The result? Your blood pressure begins to creep upward, and hormones start shifting. Normally, a hormone called leptin tells your brain when you're full. But as fat cells expand, your body becomes resistant to leptin. The brain doesn't get the signal, and you stay hungry, even after eating enough. So in just months, obesity sets off a domino effect. Tiredness, joint strain, higher blood pressure, and relentless hunger. Now let's fast forward to the first year of living with obesity. The liver begins storing excess fat, just like your belly or thighs. But the liver isn't designed to be a storage unit. This condition is called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, and it's far more common than most people realize. In fact, millions of people walking around today have fatty liver disease without even knowing it. Left unchecked, it can scar and harden the liver, leading to cirrhosis. Meanwhile, your pancreas is fighting to keep blood sugar under control. Every time you eat, your blood sugar rises, and insulin is released to move that sugar into your cells. But with obesity, your cells resist insulin's signal. The pancreas tries to compensate by pumping out more and more insulin. At first, it works, but eventually, the system starts to fail. This is the early stage of type 2 diabetes. And then there's sleep. Many people with obesity develop sleep apnea, where fat around the neck and chest narrows the airway. Breathing stops and starts throughout the night, sometimes hundreds of times. That means poor rest low energy, and a higher risk of heart disease. But obesity doesn't just affect the body. It also weighs on the mind. Studies show obesity is linked with higher rates of depression and anxiety. And while part of this may come from social stigma, biology plays a role too, because hormones released by fat tissue influence brain chemistry. Within just one year, obesity can begin to affect your liver, your metabolism, your breathing, and even your mental health. Now let's look at the two to five year mark. This is where silent changes begin to solidify into serious health conditions. Type two diabetes often develops. High blood sugar damages blood vessels like acid corroding pipes. Tiny vessels in the eyes, kidneys, and nerves are especially vulnerable. That means vision problems, kidney stress, and numbness in the feet. Your kidneys, which filter blood, now have to handle not just excess sugar, but also extra workload from high blood pressure. Over time, they develop scars that make them less effective. Meanwhile, your arteries begin to harden. Fatty deposits form along the vessel walls, narrowing them and making it harder for blood to flow. This condition, atherosclerosis, is the first big step toward heart disease. And fat cells continue to misbehave. They aren't just storage, they're active chemical factories, releasing substances that cause inflammation throughout the body. Think of it like smoke drifting from factories into every organ. 
that chronic, low-grade inflammation increases the risk of everything from arthritis to cancer. At this stage, obesity isn't just a condition. It's a system-wide disruption of the body. Fast forward five to 10 years. The risks now are not just developing, heart disease becomes a major threat. With blood vessels clogged, high blood pressure straining the heart, and blood sugar thickening the blood, the risk of a heart attack skyrockets. Obesity alone triples the chance of heart disease. Stroke risk rises too. When fatty plaques in the arteries rupture, they can block blood flow to the brain. The result can be paralysis, speech loss, or worse. Cancer also enters the picture. Hormones made by fat cells, especially estrogen, raise the risk of several cancers, including breast, colon, and pancreatic cancer. Chronic inflammation adds even more fuel to the fire, encouraging cells to grow out of control. And the joints? After years of overload, cartilage wears down, bones rub together, and pain becomes constant. This is osteoarthritis, a painful, progressive disease that limits mobility. Daily life changes drastically. Activities that once felt normal, climbing stairs, carrying groceries, playing with kids, now feel exhausting or impossible. Now let's jump even further ahead, 10, 20 years of obesity. By this point, organ damage can be irreversible. Kidneys may fail completely, requiring dialysis several times a week just to stay alive. Nerve damage from diabetes can cause numbness and pain in the feet, leading to infections and, in severe cases, amputations. The eyes can also be damaged, leading to blindness. And the brain is not spared. Research shows obesity increases the risk of Alzheimer's disease and other dementias. Excess fat and high blood sugar may speed up the aging of brain cells, leading to memory loss. Overall, obesity can shorten life expectancy by as much as eight to 10 years. That's nearly a decade of life lost, often during what should be the most fulfilling years. Lose just five to 10% of your body weight and blood pressure often drops. Blood sugar control improves dramatically. The liver, one of the most resilient organs, can actually heal from fatty buildup in a matter of months if weight loss is sustained. Even without weight loss, exercise alone can improve insulin sensitivity, strengthen the heart, and reduce inflammation. Your body is designed to heal. It just needs the chance. Obesity is one of the most complex challenges of modern life. It affects not just appearance, but almost every system in the body. But obesity is not destiny. It's a condition that responds powerfully to change, whether that's diet, exercise, better sleep, or medical treatment. The earlier you act, the more years of health you gain back. And even small steps matter. Your body is resilient. It wants to heal. And with every positive choice you make, you're rewriting the story of your own timeline. If you enjoyed the clip, don't forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button for more insights like this one.